So this week we will be learning about measurement and there are lots of different ways that you can measure things. So I'm going to talk about a few different ways that you can measure things and then focus on the one that we're going to be talking about this week. So when you're measuring something, you can measure the length and that's how long something is. You can see they're using non-standard measurement here. So they're not using a ruler or a tape measure. They're using blocks to show how long the pencil is. And you can count how many blocks long and say this, this pencil is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven blocks long. That's how long the pencil is. You can also measure height or how tall something is. At the beginning of the year, we measured how tall you were in the classroom and we marked it off. And you can see how you grow throughout time. So you can do this at home if you want to, mark off a spot somewhere and then go back a couple of months later because I don't know if you're gonna be growing overnight, but you might. You can measure how tall you get as you grow older and older each year. And so that's gonna be going up and down. With the length, we were going side to side. With height, we're gonna go from the bottom up to the top. So that's the difference between the length and the height. Capacity. Capacity is how much um, something can hold. So you can see the container here, and the capacity would be how many, they, you see they have marbles in the jar. The capacity would be how many or how much marbles can fit inside of the container. You can also think about it in terms of liquids that you can fill into a glass or say um, your gallon of milk, that is capacity. That's how much can fit inside of a container. Next is weight or how heavy something is. And so if you have a scale at home, if you hop on that, you can tell how much you weigh. That tells you how heavy something is. Um, you can also try, if you want, measuring other things. I don't know how well um, a scale that you, use, that you would use to measure yourself um, would do with fruit and things, but you could try it out, check it out. If um, mom and dad let you play around with the scale, you can try measuring different things, and that would tell you how heavy something is. This week, we're going to be uh, focusing on length. And first, we're going to just start with talking about um, things that are longer or shorter. So the first activity is just going around and we're going to use the example from our chart here and, and go around your house and see what you can find that is longer than a pencil and things that are shorter than a pencil. And then as we move forward, then we'll start to measure things with non-standard measurement. That means we're not going to be using a ruler or a tape measure, but using things like blocks or Legos to measure how long something is. So I might take that pencil and I could take my Legos and line up the Legos and say, this pencil is three Legos long. So that's moving forward. And then finally, at the end of the week, I might talk a little bit about using a ruler and doing some standard measurement if you're up for the challenge.